Uh, this is what we saw uh, the last time. Uh, we actually discussed on amplitude modulation and frequency modulation, and I showed you uh, the four properties that uh, you can talk about amplitude modulation. Now, for the exam, uh, if you encounter a question of define amplitude modulation and define frequency modulation, if it's for two marks, I suggest uh, you write these two sentences. I think it's better to actually follow the way it's been written. Uh, if it's for more than two marks, and if time permits, uh, I suggest uh, you write all four. Or even for two marks, if time permits, you write all four points there. Uh, it, it looks big <laughs> now, but when you write in a straight sentence, I don't think it'll be that long. So please learn these four points and please understand what they actually mean, right? Now, what we actually did previously was change this information signal, not change the information signal, use the information signal to change a uh, carrier wave which is the unmodulated carrier wave I change the unmodulated carrier wave to look like either this or this right so this carrier wave which is being modulated we call it the modulated carrier wave it's still the carrier wave because uh, you see it's a large frequency but now the carrier wave has been modulated already and it contains information of the audio signal it contains the data from the audio signal it contains data of the displacements and data of the frequency I told you how to actually get those two, but the problem is when when these and this is these are the signals that are sent, right? It's no use sending this because of the antenna length. It's no use sending this because it's got no information. But it, you can send this or the AM signal, right? So you can either send the amplitude modulated modulated signal or the frequency modulated signal, right? Now again, when you when your aerial or your antenna picks this signal up. You cannot actually use these signals because these are very high frequency. You can't hear these frequencies. So you need to actually extract the information from these two signals and extract the displacement signal or extract, sorry, extract the audio signal from these two signals. These are your carrier wave signals which have been modified or modulated. Now, in order to extract those signals, you actually need to use a uh, uh, some circuitry but we're not learning the circuitry again we're actually looking at the process the process is called demodulation so the use of carrier waves will actually allow different radio stations in the same locality tra to transmit simultaneously I'll tell you how each station tram transmit as a ca different carrier frequency so some stations use 55 kilohertz and uh, the other station can actually use a carrier wave of 60 kilohertz. So th because the frequencies are different, the interference would not be significant. And uh, consequently, the carrier waves do not in effect uh, interfere with each other. This is because any one receiver is tuned to the frequency of that particular carrier wave. So your receiver is actually tuned to one particular carrier wave frequency. So it will only pick up 55 kilohertz. It won't pick up 60 kilohertz frequency. So we solve the problem of multiplexing. Uh, sorry, pro problem uh, of uh, not being able to use the same radio stations there. So demodulation involves that process where you, we actually extract the information. So uh, the receiver responds and gives an output based on the differences in displacements or differences in frequency of the, actually you can use the word amplitude there, differences in amplitude or frequency between the actual waveform and the underlying carrier wave. In other words, the receiver recognizes the information signal alone and rejects the carrier wave. So the carrier wave is useless. It's just that's why the name carrier wave is that it just carries the information from the audio signal and gives it to the receiver. And the receiver actually just extracts the information of the audio signal and rejects the carrier wave signal. So what you'll see there is uh, a process of demodulation there. 